Do you know what to avoid when taking gabapentin? Well, you're in the right place to find out. Recently, the topic of gabapentin and its interactions has become increasingly important. As a popular medication often prescribed for a host of conditions including nerve pain, seizures, restless leg syndrome, and hot flashes, understanding the intricacies of how it interacts with other substances becomes vital. Gabapentin, a medication that is a part of the wider family of anticonvulsants, is frequently employed in the healthcare industry due to its potency and adaptability. It is a medication that works by calming down the nerve activity in your brain and spinal cord, which can inhibit the transmission of pain signals. However, like many medications, gabapentin can interact in unpredictable ways with certain foods, supplements, and other medications. These interactions can affect the fundamental functioning of the medication in your system and potentially lead to unwanted and at times harmful side effects. It's important to note that these interactions are not always unavoidable. In fact, understanding how they work can empower you as a patient to take control of your health outcomes. Now let's delve deeper into the specifics of these potential interactions. Firstly, let's explore the food interactions. Certain foods can have impact on the absorption and effectiveness of gabapentin. High-fat meals are one such category that can potentially increase gabapentin absorption within your body, which could potentially lead to an overdose. These high-fat foods include items that are commonly found in many individuals' diets. Fast foods, for example, are often high in fats. These could be anything from a greasy burger from a popular fast food chain to a slice of pizza loaded with extra cheese and toppings. Other culprits include buttery dishes, which could be as simple as a slice of toast generously spread with butter, or more complex dishes like creamy pasta or butter chicken. Fatty meats, such as red meats or fried chicken, are also on the list. The increase in absorption caused by these foods is due to the way fats slow down digestion. This slower digestive process can lead to the medication staying in the system longer and being absorbed more fully, potentially leading to an overdose. It's important to remember that every person's body reacts differently, and what may cause an increase in absorption in one person may not have the same effect on another. In addition to food, alcohol can also interact with gabapentin in ways that can increase its sedative effects. This is due to the fact that both substances are central nervous system depressants. When taken together, they can create a compounded effect, leading to increased drowsiness, dizziness, and potentially dangerous levels of sedation. In some cases, this can even lead to unconsciousness or be life-threatening. Avoiding alcohol when taking gabapentin is a wise choice. This doesn't mean you have to completely abstain from all forms of alcohol, but it's a good idea to limit your consumption significantly. This includes not just beverages like beer, wine, or spirits, but also foods that may contain alcohol. Be conscious of items like certain desserts or sauces which may have alcohol as an ingredient. It's always a good idea to speak your healthcare provider if you have any questions about specific food or drink items. In conclusion, taking gabapentin requires a certain level of vigilance. It's essential to be aware of the potential interactions it can have with foods, supplements, and other medications, and to adjust your diet and habits accordingly. Your health is your responsibility, and understanding the ins and outs of your medication is a crucial part of that. So, avoid foods like fast food, buttery dishes, fatty meats, and alcohol when taking this medication. Next, we have natural supplements. St. John's wort, a popular supplement for depression, can decrease the effectiveness of gabapentin. So, if you're taking this, it's best to consult your doctor. Similarly, magnesium, often taken for bone health, can reduce gabapentin absorption. So, again, it's best to discuss this with your healthcare provider. Now, on to medications. Antacids used to treat heartburn and indigestion can hinder gabapentin absorption. Therefore, if you're taking antacids, it's recommended to take gabapentin at least two hours afterward. Furthermore, pain medications like hydrocodone can increase gabapentin sedative effects, leading to extreme drowsiness or even respiratory depression. So if you're on pain medications, be sure to discuss this with your doctor. In summary, when taking gabapentin, it's best to avoid high-fat meals, alcohol, St. John's wort, magnesium, antacids, and pain medications like hydrocodone. Of course, this isn't an exhaustive list and individual reactions can vary. As always, it's crucial to consult with your healthcare provider about your specific situation. 
Remember, it's your health, and you have a right to know how to best manage it. Thanks for tuning in. Stay informed, stay safe, and take care.